welcome back to our channel this is 21 rmi 56 research methodology and ipr subject of fifth semester in vto syllabus in this series of lecture we are going to see about module 2 question bank and this is the set one come let's go into the video so as i told you this is module 2 dealing with literature survey and existing new knowledge so this is question bank with answer this is the first set of questions for module 2 moving on to the questions first one describe the primary goal of literature review and criteria to evaluate it so what is the primary goal of literature review is you have to create an idea you have to approach many existing technology or existing methodologies available to identify which problem can be stated for a problem statement that is the primary goal and the second one is once you select a problem statement then the quality of the review for that problem statement should be evaluated in a very good way so the primary goal of literature review is nothing but you're going to search in form of the search the hypothesis existing knowledge how the existing knowledge can be invented with the new knowledge all those is the primary goal of literature review and the criteria for evaluating is breadth and depth of coverage so we have to ensure that the knowledge the literature review is covered completely with the depth knowledge of the technology and it should be clearly mentioned about the methodologies or the algorithms or the flow charts that has been mentioned in every review and there should be a rigor checking whether the particular review is literature review is suitable for particular problem statement consistency so we have to check whether every year whether that problem statement has a solution available in form of methodology or in form of a review paper that consistency has to be measured and finally you have to analyze all the knowledges literature reviews that you have made and out of it we you will be selecting the best literature review to deal with the problem statement so this is the primary goal and the criteria to evaluate it this is the key points that you have to remember second one examine how an existing knowledge is important as new knowledge so we all run behind new knowledge we go in search of new science new technology but nobody cares about the existing knowledge but actually existing knowledge is much important how you weight your new knowledge because new knowledge cannot be available without any existing knowledge that is what is told here so you have different interpretation on uh, some research background you will have different perception for your new knowledge how the different perception comes only because of existing knowledge and this existing knowledge should know what is the real problem going on whether it is really important to deal with all those should be known in the existing knowledge and how this existing knowledge becomes important how it comes out to be an existing knowledge is through the literature review so literature review is only based on the existing knowledge so literature review will provide you all the concepts and methodologies available existing existing that is existing to develop your new knowledge so these are the tips for this question third question investigate the components required for literature survey and the steps to conduct an effective survey so there are some components that is required for literature survey you you cannot just keep on searching your problem statement existing knowledge you have to summarize based on the state of art what kind of problem it is whether it comes under science technology arts so it is based on state of art you have to see the key concept that is required for your literature review the main factors that is affecting or the main parameters that is required to develop a new knowledge and you have to always complement the existing approaches we may not we we take different literature review and we may not tell any negative upon the existing approaches always you have to complement the existing approach and tell there is some improvement in your existing approaches so these are the components that is required for literature survey and steps to conduct are there are two steps of process one is identification of the topic that is identification of the problem statement relevant to the 
particular subject, particular stream, whether it is electronics and communication, electrical and electronics, or it is computer science engineering, or it is artificial intelligence. So based on that, you have to identify the major concepts and topic. That is the first step. And the second step is placing of citation. So once a problem statement is ready, you go for the literature review. So once you go for the literature review, citation has to be provided at each and every review that you refer. Yes, so these are the two steps. Moving on to the next question, illustrate the various steps involved in analyzing the literature review. So these are the main steps involved in analyzing the literature review. One is understanding the hypothesis. So you have to understand the problem station rather than moving on to the solution. First, you have to understand the problem solution. How, what, when, why, understand that. And then you have to understand the model developed through a block diagram and the experimental condition, whether it may be an algorithm or it may be a formula, mathematical model, you have to understand that. Then you have to make a connection between the problem statement, that is hypothesis, and this model. Then you have to compare and contrast. You have to tell which is pros and cons of each of the review that you are making. And then find out the strong points, that is the positive points, and find out the loopholes, that is the negative points in the reviews. Yes, these are the five steps involved in your literature review, analyzing the literature review. Moving on to the next question, describe the benefits of bibliographic database. Bibliographic is nothing but you are giving certain uh, bibliographic introduction about the author or introduction about the particular um, author or the inventor. So, abstracting and indexing services. So it is providing abstracting and indexing services. It will be available in the scholarly architecture, the bibliography of each of the author. And it, it is also telling about the capabilities, how many papers, how many reviews, how many topics has been covered, and the coverage of each and every topic, every problem statement, how the quality of research for a particular database, bibliographic databases, all these will be available in bibliographic databases. Sixth question, determine the valuable initial search tools and their limitations. So, the, so there are two search tools. One is Web of Science and Google and Google Scholar. This is Web of Science, this is Google and this is Google Scholar. So there are some limitations also for this. Uh, means that Web of Science, Google and Google Scholar are where you can search for many literature review papers and you can search for many technology papers that has been published by different authors. So there are some limitation that you have to so follow. There will be a limited search functionalities. So you just give a topic, it, it cannot give you the result. There are some keywords that you have to mention. And then you have scholarly contents that is available only in the Google Scholar. Sometimes the paper when you enter, it will be covered incompletely, only abstract can be seen. So that incomplete coverage, only if you use another website, you can get the complete PDF of a research paper. And then uh, black box nature is nothing but uh, you will be allowed to search that is applicable for Google. It, it will allow you to search many things, but there, are, there is some restriction for searching some of the things which is majorly uh, available that is major technology that is evolving so that that kind of review is nothing but black black box black box nature so thank you stay tuned for more information question bank set 2 will be available in the next series of video thank you